It's almost five o'clock. I'm heading out to Psycho City. I need to get some I need to get some oil for my motorcycle. Now what's wrong with this light? It ain't happening. Sometimes the motorcycle isn't doesn't have enough metal to trigger the sensor. And so the light doesn't change, it stays put. So here I go. A long way. See if this will work. And there's a policeman. Okay. Let's see if this works here. Yeah, you see one of the things I like about this camera is that it can zoom way, way ahead while it's filming. It's a fantastic feature. I like it. I don't know many cameras that will do so. This is, uh, so far, this, this is the only one that I know that will do it. This is, well, let's see, this is Queen Street. And this is basically the heart of downtown. I'm going to try to get on Nimitz Highway. And we'll pass by the harbor. I think I gotta zoom out to get a better view here. The lower tower is this way, but you probably can't see it because the sun's so bright. And I'm doing a legal merge. No cops? Okay, here we go. I got a, I got pulled over by a cop here a couple weeks ago. Uh, maybe, yeah, just two weeks ago. For, um, for taking the turn too aggressively. I took a really hard turn. You'll see, there's like a little embankment. Uh, it's speed limits 35 here. And um, I, well, according to him, I was doing like 70 or, I don't know, what was I doing? I was doing 80? He was, uh, he was part of the harbor patrol and I didn't know they gave out tickets. I guess any patrolman can give out tickets. This is what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, just put it on the full lean. No peg scraping today. Not sharp enough. Oh well. Is that a cop? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm still good. Thought I heard a heard a little siren. <laughs> okay. Let's cut in front of these guys. Okay. So one of my co-workers, Andy, is leaving the company. And he and I discussed the pay here in Hawaii, the pay scale, it really, really sucks. Maybe in the past vlogs, I've griped about the pay scale, but I didn't go into full detail. Well, here's the deal. Hawaii has a scarcity mentality. There's not enough jobs to go around, especially tech. So, what happens is, there's not a lot of options. And when you have when you have a shortage of jobs, then you have greater demand. As a result, since it's um, jobs are harder to find, the pay scale is lower. How much lower? I would say if I headed up to California, I would get 50% more. That's how bad it is. Yeah, not unless you're in a profession such as um, law, if you're a lawyer or you're a nurse, doctor, the pay scale here is higher because in Hawaii you have a situation where a lot of people find Hawaii very attract a very attractive place to replace if they have money. So you got a lot of old rich folks retiring here in Hawaii 
And what happens is you got this aging population that needs medical attention. And so there's a, there's a huge shortage of nurses and doctors and therefore you got a lot more pay going on um, in those fields. And as far as the attorneys go, you know, I don't know what the result is and why they're get like um why uh why business is so good. But um I just know if you're an attorney or a doctor or if you have your own business here and you got a good thing going then um yeah then you're all set. So I'm thinking of heading out to the Bay Area or to the west in general. I was in Tucson last week or the, the week prior and I really didn't like it there. I mean I went at a good time of year and even then I wasn't really, I wasn't exactly thrilled about the place. I thought I thought the food sucked. I don't know, I'm not crazy about Mexican food, but it seems that everybody else is. But that's just me. I prefer Asian food. What can you do? Gotta continue this. YouTube. I've got a director's... I've got a director's account, but I still can't... I still can't post more than 10 minutes. 100 megabytes. 